class of February 2016. Wear your PPE. <laughs> if I could offer you only one tip for the future, wearing your PPE would be it. The safety benefits of wearing your PPE have been proven by scientists. Whereas the rest of the advice I offer you today, I plagiarized from YouTube graduation videos last night. <laughs> Keep in touch with your classmates, the scientist who sat behind you or the mechanic beside you could be an indispensable contact when you're faced with a challenging situation in the future. Appreciate the section manager who scored 100% on the comprehensive exam. The wealth of knowledge he carries with him can only be transferred if you are willing to learn. <laughs> Effective communication. Tim Wilford can help anyone understand anything. Because as soon as he sees that someone is not quite following, he will break it down to a very basic level. He will tell you what is good and what is evil. <laughs> Tim communicates effectively. Be like Tim. When Teresa Spritzer used animated metaphors to explain the difference between the strong nuclear force and the weak electromagnetic force, Teresa was communicating effectively. Be like Teresa. <laughs> Procedural use and adherence. When you go on a station tour, it is very important to complete a thorough pre-job. When we had our pre-job, we talked about potential hazards and things we needed to bring. Thoroughly. Then after we boarded the bus, Ron Pelkos stood up at the front and asked, Do you all have your Prox cards? We answered, yes. Self-check with verbalization. <laughs> Right, Garrett? <laughs> Stop when unsure. Don't be afraid to ask your supervisor for clarification if something doesn't seem quite right. Dance, but not at work. <laughs> be proud. You work for Bruce Power, the world's largest operating nuclear facility. Over the past decade, we provided enough clean energy to allow the shutdown of all coal burning plants in Ontario in what is considered the largest clean air initiative in North America. The refurbishment of units three through eight over the next two decades will secure the long-term future of the site. Whether we realize it or not, we have all absorbed valuable information from the instructors at Nuclear Power School. So on behalf of the class of 2016, I would like to thank our many instructors course administrators and guest speakers for this valuable learning experience. Thank you to my classmates for electing me to speak on your behalf. <laughs> I hope that I have represented you well. There are so many other people I think should be up here giving this speech today. <laughs> Akash Joshi, whose strong work ethic elevated our group project from the depths of mediocrity to greatness. <laughs> Drew Armstrong, the newest Bruce Power employee in Nuclear Power School, who achieved the highest overall grade in our class. <laughs> Dean Breton, who is always willing to answer any questions and provide research to back it up. <laughs> Joe Gertzma, who was able to bring everyone in the class together through his animated antics. <laughs> In all honesty, I am honored to represent our class. In closing, I will leave you with a quote that I perhaps should remember the next time I'm asked to give a speech. Mark Twain once said, it is better to keep your mouth closed and let people think you are a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. <laughs> Congratulations.